Hello students. Today we are going to see the mathematics in expanded form. You know, some exercises in expanded form. Let's see the example. There's a 53,624. Okay. Fifty three thousand six twenty four. Okay. We're going to make this an expanded form. You know what is this? This is once. Thousands. Okay. So to make it an expanded form, we know like this is this is ten thousands. So we're gonna have four zeros. So here you can see like four zeros. So after five, let's have four zeros here. And then three is in thousands place. Thousand place we know like it has got a three zeros. So let us have three zeros here. Plus six is six is in hundreds place. And it has got two zeros. So I'm putting two zeros. After six, so it is like six hundred. So two is in tens place. So I'm putting one zero, and then four. Okay. Now in the expanded form, like we got to separate it. We got to separate this. How we can do it? Five into ten thousand. We get the same value. Three into thousand six into hundred plus twenty into five plus two into ten plus four. This is the expanded form. So can you see the answer here? Yeah, we can put in four into one or we can just leave it. Let's see another example. So they got, find the number which corresponds to the expanded form. They got an expanded form already. We got to make, we got to find the number for that. Okay. Let's take the, an example of this. It is three into 10,000. Expanded form to number. Okay. So three into ten thousand. Three into ten thousand. That's two into thousand. Yeah, we are right. Okay, let's see the exercise plan. So we're going to this is the expanded form. Now we are going to find a number for that. We know if we multiply this into this, what we get like thirty thousand. Actually, for clear purpose, like you can you can even convert uh, divided by three. So get a clear idea. Okay, three into ten thousand gives thirty thousand. Then two and two thousand gives two thousand. Plus eight into ten gives. Okay. 
you know, either you can add it as it is here if you're very well versed in mathematics, or if you know if you want to reduce the error, you can do this. You got to you got to be careful on the comma. Like you know, after three digits, you need to have comma everywhere. So you can see it has got only two digits. So you got to start from the last zero, eight, and then three. Okay. Now if you add it in this column, like you just find only three. So you can add three here, then only eight. There's no digits here. Now if you see in this column, there's no digit. So you got to put zero. If nothing is there, you got to put zero. Two plus zero gives two. So three plus nothing. So three can come here. So you can see the number. The number form is three, two, zero, eight. So this is the answer. Let's see nice answer. So it's three, two, zero, eight, three. We are correct. Thank you.